What's going on you guys, my name is Kobe Downey and welcome to another awesome video. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about Azure Film. Let's see if you can see that. Azure Film is a filament manufacturer from Slovenia in Europe. And they've been kind enough to send me a couple of spools to try on test and uh, tell you guys what I think about it. When it comes to filament, I am super, super basic over it. I only ever use PLA. Um, I don't see a reason to use anything else. PLA is just, it's easy to work with. It does mean that when I do get to try a new filament, I know what I'm getting myself into. So they sent me quite a, a, a bit of a range. They sent me grey because my favourite colour to print in is grey. The reason why I love printing in grey is because grey doesn't hide anything. Grey will always show you where there's defects and it will just, it, shadows don't disappear and highlights don't disappear. It just, it's a perfect way to, to print and to test detail. For example, with my little Buddha Patrick you can see there so they sent me the gray as their one of their larger spools this is this is one kilogram they also sent me a bunch of smaller ones which i have in my little cupboard here these are 0.3 kilogram spools i love small spools they're tiny they're small but the reason why i really love these kind of um smaller filaments is because I always print in grey like most of the time if I'm printing something I am going to paint it there is the odd occasion where I will need to print in the colour that I'm looking for and that case is I don't want to buy an entire kilogram of blue just to complete a job so if I'm able to you know spend it, it's a bit more expensive per kilogram, but if I'm able to spend a little bit less on a filament that will not go to waste, um, I'm more than happy to spend it that way. It also it just means that I don't end up with a massive stockpile because I don't have that much space to store filament anymore. So the the colors the colors that they sent me was a a, a red, a blue. A green which is currently on my printer at the moment so there is your green and then the one that i was really excited to try and that was a glitter pla let's see if you can see that boom sparkle sparkle i've always wanted to try a glitter filament i've never and, and like i said i've i don't go out to buy filament to experiment to see what it likes i'm buying filament for a specific purpose so i don't get a chance to experiment with other kind of colors and i thought i'd just give it a try I've never printed with the um, glitter filament and it came out beautifully look at that sparkle sparkle it does give off more of a rough texture the glitter so you can actually feel the glitter so that could have potentially destroyed my nozzle I need to have a look at that but I'm quite happy with the way that blue came out shiny so these are some of the examples that I printed out. I printed out this little vase. This is something that I made probably six years ago. Um, this file is available on my mini factory. I printed out a little Buddha Patrick in the grey. This is also a file available on my mini factory. All of these links will be down below. I printed out my print in place spinning cube. This is a fun little thing that I designed a, a while ago that has custom supports and a prints in place. It's a it is really difficult to print but if you can print it successfully it's awesome because it comes with the printer and with a bit of fiddling you can get it to spin this this was cool before fidget spinners came around so the more you play with it and the more you wiggle it about the looser it becomes and it just it's a cool little spinning toy that prints in place i just wanted to challenge myself by printing a cube on a corner what makes it extremely challenging is because every single angle here is within tolerance to not want to print support so it's no matter what way you print it unless you stack it up with support material um, this will not print with any support so it's got little sticks that kind of hold it in place and then you just snip those away um, and here's a little video on, on how I actually took that bit apart <laughs>
and then the last thing I printed I want to do is just take this material for a bit of a spin give it a nice long print to see how it handles um, in the long run I mean printing out little things like this you're not going to use too much of a coil um, and it's not going to spin around too much because you're not printing much and that you won't really get to see if the material is tangled or kind of messy further in so I printed out a massive Baby Yoda. This is actually the first Baby Yoda I've printed. So it's taken me a while to get onto that hype train. Um, so this is one of the only files that I haven't designed um, in this little collection. Um, the link to this file will be down below as well. This was also from my mini factory. I need to paint them at some point. And then the last thing I printed was something that I actually designed. I wanted to experiment with something. I saw this on, I think, 9gag. So it's it's not an original idea, but it's something that I wanted to experiment and see how difficult it would be to do. And it turns out it's not too difficult, which is pretty impressive. So you may recognize something like this. This is a basic kind of um, educational toy. You know, you, t you take the triangle shape, the triangle shape there, and you put it in there. You find the circle one, you put it in there. You find the square one, and you put it in there. You know, as an adult, it makes sense, but as a child, it's a bit confusing, unless you're this guy. With this, what I wanted to do is to create a shape that could fit every single slot here. Now that sounds, oh, oh Kirby, that's easy. You just make it smaller, like this Buddha. Yeah, oh, that's a shape that can fit in. All right, very easy. Nope. I wanted one that could fit within tolerance. So, here's a nice little circle. There, there we go. But, if you hold it that way, it is also a square. But if you rotate it like, like that, it's also a triangle. So this allows you to put it into every single hole and it'll fit into every single hole like that he a fun little project something it's it's no Gallahorn it's no thorn it's nothing spectacular it was just me experimenting with some shapes so I mean to create something like this it's really easy you just extrude out a circle um, to the height of it and then you just cut down the sides and that's it so you just you're creating a cylinder and then you're cutting these two wedges out away from it and then boom you've got your shape it's a really simple shape but it gave me the opportunity just to experiment with shapes and figure out something like that you know maybe this inspires you to play around with even more shapes and see what other cool things that you can come up with I also didn't want to design anything that's insanely crazy that will overshadow this video because this video isn't about what I've designed, this video is about the filament that I used. Little dog, little doggy sleeping. He's tired, he was in daycare all day playing with other doggies. So, my thoughts of Azure Film. I like it. You know, since uh, Rigid Ink stopped uh, producing filament, I've been looking for a place where I can buy small spools of, of filament. I don't get to print too much at home anymore. Um, I went down from, I think, six printers to now one printer at home. Um, so that printer just sits here on my desk now, and I use it whenever I need it. I've got access to some really insane printers at work so whenever i do need to print something most of the time i print it in sls so that does mean also when i need to print something i'm not going to buy a lot of pla because i might not use this for another couple of months and that's not very healthy for pla or any filament to be sitting around for such a long period so buying these small spools is fantastic it really does help out for the way that I use 3D printing. The quality of it, I think it's 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 pretty damn good. I mean, I never had a single failure. I just slapped into my printer, 
use the basic Prusa PLA settings and just hit play and it did its job. It is really scary to try new filaments and I was quite happy with the results, the fact that it just printed and that's all we ever want from a filament is something that just prints. The more and more 3D printing moves to that direction where things just work, the more and more it becomes accessible to everybody. The biggest question on everyone's mind is always, how much is it? For a kilogram of PLA, this is um, 1.75 mils, um, you're looking at around 20 euros, which is damn good. That's a really good price, in my opinion. Um, the next question people always ask, but it's coming from Slovenia. How much is it going to cost to ship to me? We know that Prusa from the Czech Republic, uh, their shipping is quite expensive. So you're paying 20, 20 euros a spool and your shipping um, is 10 euros. So for this, you're going to be paying about 20 euros for a spool and their shipping is around 10 euros, which is still, that's really not bad. 30 euros for a spool of filament. According to their site, anything over 60 euros, uh, you get free shipping. Um, they also do bulk ordering, which is also awesome if you are someone who does a load of 3D printing, which I do not. I approve of Azure Filament. It is definitely going to be a filament that I'm going to be purchasing more and um, a, a filament I'm going to be using from now on as my primary filament. Now, Azure Film has sent me this filament free of charge in order to review it, to give a fair review. Um, there's no money involved or anything. It's just, this is just a fair trade of some free filament in order to give a fair review. And I'm happy with it. Yeah, I was, I'm quite impressed. I'm quite impressed with my experience with Azure Film. All the links of everything that I've shown off today is down below. Um, if you want to check out Azure Film, all their links are down below, their website, all of their social links, it is down below. Go check them out. They could be your next filament provider. If you have used Azure Film, please let me know in the comments section but down below. Um, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Whoa, 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 before you go, before you go. What do you think of my new setup? This is a, I've actually now got a desk. I've got a place to actually sit down and do these kind of things. I've got lights, I've got fancy sound. That's awesome. Also, if you haven't checked it out, I've started a podcast. It is called The Core Podcast. It's uh, a, it's with a buddy of mine, Johnny Harrison, um, where we just talk about being creative and doing creative things. In our last episode, we spent an hour and a half, you know, just chatting and building Lego. Um, links of that is down below. So go check it out. Hopefully it's good enough that you go and give it a subscribe. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.